Breaking news just into CNN. Las Vegas police have arrested a suspect in connection with the 1996 drive-by shooting death of legendary rapper Tupac Shakur. At that time, Puff was the biggest guy in the world. You know, you couldn't even get in this party, so. Is there has been negative propaganda put out about me that's not. Hollywood's buzzing with excitement yet again. And this time we've got an exclusive scoop that's tying Jamie Foxx to a storm of drama. The age-old East Coast vs. West Coast feud is back on the spotlight, and Diddy's alleged role in Tupac's untimely demise is the hottest talk in Tynal Town with the recent arrest of Keefe D in the heart of Vegas, a man believed to be at the center of this decades-old saga old wounds, have been reopened the wounds from a feud that's been festering for nearly three decades. Decades for 27 years, Tupac family has sought answers and now it seems like they might be getting closer to uncovering the truth they've been chasing. Now celebrities are stepping up to expose Diddy, and one of them is none other than Jamie Foxx, our insider sources close to Jamie Foxx reveal. That he's not keeping his feelings about Diddy a secret Jimmy isn't holding back when it comes to expressing his disapproval of Diddy. These insiders suggest that Jamie has hinted at a potential clash in the past and even shared some controversial views about Diddy's extravagant gatherings. A close confidant of Jamie spilled the tea, explaining that Jimmy believes that if Key D mentions Diddy's name, the police should be right on it. All eyes are on Jimmy now eagerly awaiting his public response as we dive deeper into this celebrity feud frenzy. And guess what's next? We're about to uncover the intricate connections between Jamie Foxx and Tupac. So what precisely did Jamie Foxx reveal you better brace yourself? or some spicy details because this story is about to take you on a wild ride through the drama-filed streets of Hollywood. I'm following Puff, following Puff, and his parties were like amazing. We were in Philly one day. I, I fly to Philly, town car, same business. The intricate tapestry of connections between Hollywood and the realm of hip-hop has always been laced with elements of scandal, mystery, and sensationalism. But one such connection that may have eluded many is the brief yet unforgettable meeting between Tupac Shakur and Jamie Foxx. Let's rewind to the year 199-93. It was March and Tupac Shakur was in Hollywood to make a guest appearance on the popular variety show. In living color, the atmosphere was lively as the show was known for its humor and satire. E but things took an unexpected turn Tupac during a break in the show Tupac and his entourage, which included a few friends decided to kick back in a limo parked at the Fox television parking lot. They were looking to relax and enjoy some downtime according to the driver David Don the group began. Indulging in some herbal relaxation, however, when the driver David voiced his concerns and asked them to put an end to their session, the atmosphere quickly shifted from laid back to tense allegedly Tupac and one of his associates became confrontational, leading to a full-blown altercation. The events that unfolded that evening took yet another unexpected turn to Pac, who was initially scheduled to close the show with the performance found himself in quite a different spotlight. He was arrested after the brawl that occurred just outside the show's production. Premises this incident, albeit momentary, became a headline, briefly narrating the story of a promising artist's rendezvous with controversy, but what about Jamie Foxx, in all of this, while he wasn't directly involved in these events, he certainly wasn't untouched by Tupac's presence over the years. Jamie Foxx has been candid about his thoughts on the rapper shedding light on the respect and admiration he held for him in an emotionally charged interview. With Radio Planet TV, Jamie Foxx delved into the profound impact that Tupac and the Notorious B's passing had on the hip-hop scene. It's a complex and fascinating connection between the worlds of Hollywood A. Hip-hop revealing layers of history, emotions, and experiences. I think that's Tupac and Biggie would still be here. Nobody wanted to back down. You can back down, it's okay. Tupac don't want to back down. The deep respect Jamie Foxx held for Tupac was further confirmed by an insider speaking off the record. Affirming that Jamie felt a unique connection with Tupac, Jamie expressed genuine upset that even after almost 30 years, Tupac's family hasn't found the justice they've been seeking as we navigate the maze of these story tales. It's evident that even brief encounters can leave a lasting impact for Jamie Foxx. Tupac wasn't just another name in the industry, he represented a talent potential and the e sense of what hip-hop could and should be the whispers and murmurs surrounding Tupac's is untimely demise. Stir the waters once again, Jamie Foxx stands as a testament to the respect and reverence the legendary rapper commanded both in life and beyond, yet 
while Jim's sentiments about Tupac and his legacy are well, there are aspects that remain shrouded in shadows, especially concerning Shea Diddy Combs, those in James' inner circles, attest to conversations where he drops subtle hints about Diddy's suggestion. a deeper relationship than what meets the eye, Jamie often conveyed that Diddy's public persona contrasted with the man he knew privately, according to insiders Jamie, mentioned that Diddy has layers not all of them pretty another source emphasized this divergence recounting a private gathering. Where tension was palpable, Jamie didn't conceal his disdain and whispered at one point Diddy's ambition knows no bounds he's someone who would go to any length to get what he wants these remarks shed new. Light on the dynamics between these two powerhouses hinting at undercurrents of tension and suspicion, it leads us to wonder how these insights shape the bigger picture is Jim's perspective on Diddy representative of a broader industry sentiment, or is it uniquely rooted in personal experiences and exchanges Jamie Foxx and Shay Diddy Combs are two monumental names that have significantly impacted the entertainment landscape, while many admire the glamour of their public lives beneath the surface lies. A complex web of relationships and incidents that have shaped their narratives, the truth may be elusive, but the stories and whispers continue to fuel intrigue and speculation. Diddy back in the day, when Diddy, when Diddy had all of the, 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 the songs out, he was so famous, we couldn't get into our own clubs in LA. The deep respect Jamie Foxx held for Tupac was further confirmed by an insider speaking off the record affirming that Jamie felt a unique connection with Tupac. Jamie expressed genuine upset that even after almost 30 years, Tupac's family hasn't found the justice they've been seeking as we navigate the maze of these story tales. It's evident that even brief encounters can leave a lasting impact for Jamie Foxx. Tupac wasn't just another name in the industry. He represented a talent potential and the e sense of what hip-hop could and should be the whispers and murmurs surrounding Tupac's untimely demise. Stir the waters once again. Jamie Foxx stands as a testament to the respect and reverence the legendary rapper commanded both in life and beyond yet while Jim's sentiments about Tupac and his legacy are well, there are aspects that remain shrouded in shadows, especially concerning Shea Diddy Combs, those in James' inner circles, attest to conversations where he drops subtle hints about Diddy suggest. In a deeper relationship than what meets the eye, Jamie often conveyed that Diddy's public persona contrasted with the man he knew privately, according to insiders. Jamie mentioned that Diddy has layers not all of them pretty, another source emphasized visions recounting a private gathering. Where tension was palpable, Jamie didn't conceal his disdain and whispered at one point Diddy's ambition knows no bounds he's someone who would go to any link to get what he wants these remarks shed new. Light on the dynamics between these two powerhouses hinting at undercurrents of tension and suspicion it leads us to wonder how these insights shape the bigger picture is Jim's perspective on Diddy representative of a broader industry sentiment or is it uniquely rooted in personal experiences and Exchanges Jamie Foxx and Shea Diddy Combs are two monumental names that have significantly impacted the entertainment landscape, while many admire the glamour of their public lives beneath the surface lies. A complex web of relationships and incidents that have shaped their narratives, the truth may be elusive, but the stories and whispers continue to fuel intrigue and speculation. I remember watching Puff at the Beverly Hills Hotel, filming it. And it's a pool party that is ridiculous, man. Now you probably heard about Jamie Foxx's recent hospitalization, right? Well, it happened shortly after he spilled the beans on Diddy's parties, which people say were a bit wild and exclusive. A TikTok video made the rounds featuring interviews with rappers and singers talking about Puff Daddy, reportedly all male gatherings and raising questions about his preferences. 90s. Do you understand what that's like? Puffy's place was like just filled with chicks and orging like nonstop, right? No, nah, not really. Come I mean, on. but did I, hey, it was curious. I got a chance to see some things. In this video, Jamie Foxx takes the stage sharing what he knows about Shea Puffy Combs and these secret parties where young men seem to be the main guest rappers like 50 Cent couldn't resist poking fun at Puffy for throwing parties that seem to be mostly attended by guys including some younger. Fellas Usher even had a story to tell about his time at Flavor Camp when he stayed with Puff Daddy as a teenager during an interview with Howard Stern and Robin Quivers. Usher spilled some beans about his e Raleigh days in New York City living with, with Puff Daddy. He hinted at the wild parties that they had at his so-called Flavor Camp in the 90s, 
Do you understand what that's like Puffy's place was like just filled with chicks and Oren? Like, no, not really, I mean, but he was curious. I got a chance to see some things Usher talked about Flavor Camp on the Howard Stern show, giving us a glimpse into that lifestyle he didn't go into explicit details, but he mentioned things got pretty wild. And he wasn't sure if he'd fully partake now, there have been rumors circulating for quite some time that Diddy might have had a connection with Tupac before things took a dangerous turn. Some people speculate that there might have been some private stuff happening that led Diddy to take drastic measures going deeper into the world of rumors and secrets surrounding Diddy's possible involvement in the Tupac and Biggie cases other famous folks are dropping hints, Cake Harlem's own maze, for instance, hat. He talked about wanting justice for Tupac and casually mentioned Keefe D in a playful way he brought up Bad Boy, doing a little Diddy-like dance rumors have been swirling for a while about Diddy's potential connections to shady stuff related to Tupac and Biggie's tragic deaths Kefa D once claimed. That Diddy talked about paying $1 million to the Southside Crips to have Tupac taken out Suge Knight, the head of Death Row Records, hinted that Diddy could have benefited from the deaths of Tupac and Biggie. Then there's Eminem in his song Kill Shot. He suggested that Diddy might be involved in Tupac's demise. Diddy quickly responded, saying that he had the situation under control. Connecting all these dots, we begin to see a reoccurring theme, a series of hints, allegations, and whispers surrounding Diddy that collectively paint a picture as elusive as it is enigmatic as we navigate this labyrinth we must tread with caution, as in the world of entertainment and hip-hop the line between reality and fiction up.